Live from the KDKA Broadcast Center in downtown Pittsburgh, this is KDKA-TV Morning News on Pittsburgh CW. Right now on Pittsburgh CW, breaking news, traffic troubles in Moon Township after a massive landslide shuts down a busy roadway overnight where you will need to find an alternate route this morning. Also breaking news in Beaver County, a suspect leads state police in both Pennsylvania and police in West Virginia on an hours-long chase. We'll have the very latest. Good morning to you, and thanks for making KDKA a part of your morning routine on Pittsburgh CW. I'm Lisa Washington. The time now is 8 o'clock. It is a very busy Thursday morning as we get toward those breaking stories in just a moment. First, though, we need to get a check on our forecast for today. Here's meteorologist Mary Hours. Thanks, Lisa. We're starting to see a lot of sunshine. Temperatures are just a bit chilly right around the freezing mark. It feels a tad bit colder, factoring in some light winds. But enjoy the sunshine today. Enjoy the warm up because temperatures right now are mostly looking at the 30. So 33 in Pittsburgh, 33 in Butler, 30 Washington, and all of that sunshine will continue through the first half of our day. Then clouds increase this afternoon. It does feel a little colder. Franklin 19 is your wind chill and the winds out of the south 5 to 10 miles per hour. So when you just factor in those light winds brings us down about five degrees. So satellite and radar is quiet. Clouds off to our southwest. We'll have rain arrive about nine o'clock tonight. Very light. That's going to pick up through overnight and for your morning commute tomorrow. But our temperatures are going to stay steady into the mid to even upper 40s. I'll time it all out for you. Let you know how long the rain will last along with the milder temperatures and when snow will be moving in coming up. All right, Mary, thank you. Well, we are following breaking news this morning in Moon Township. A landslide has part of Route 51 shut down. The closure runs from Stoops Ferry to Purdy Road. Lindsay Ward has the breaking details. Well, this is as close as we can get to the scene here in Moon Township, and this is certainly impacting drivers this morning as they head to work after their busy holiday yesterday, as you can see. Uh, PennDOT have part of Route 51 closed off to traffic right now, and they said that they plan on having Route 51 closed until further notice. We're talking about the area between Stoops Ferry Road and Purdy Road in both directions, which is closed. According to Moon Township Police, this is a very large landslide, and it was active for some time. Duquesne Light and People's Gas were on scene for hours overnight and well into early this morning. They were busy trying to restore power. We learned that 600 people were without power because this landslide knocked off power to them this morning. And about an hour ago, we do know that power was restored to them. At this time, we do not know when part of Route 51, which is closed, will reopen. But as soon as we learn those details from PennDOT, we will be sure to pass that information along to you. Reporting in Moon Township, Lindsay Ward, KDKA News. All right, uh, thanks to Lindsay for that report. 803 now taking a look at traffic, and you can see we're beginning to see some areas slowing down this morning as people are making their way back to work after being off for the New Year's Day holiday. And you can see there on the parkway, both east and west, looks like a little bit of a slowdown. Also, you may remember that earlier in the 7 o'clock hour, there was the accident that happened on Route 28 southbound. Now, that scene has been cleared, but this, of course, are the residual delays. The speed there, just 11 miles per hour if you're going to be traveling into the city along Route 28. Do be aware of that and taking a look at the drive times. You will see um, Interstate 79 if you're going to be traveling from Bridgeville to 376, just five minutes. But there you see the 29 minutes now. So we actually should change that from green to red if you're going to be traveling on 28 heading into Pittsburgh um, southbound. 29 minutes is your time there. Other drive times this morning on the parkway, both east and westbound, about 20 minutes if you're going to be traveling from downtown to the airport or from the airport to downtown. So do buckle up as you make your way out. In the meantime, we are following breaking news this morning out of Beaver County. State police have taken one person into custody after an hours long chase that started in Beaver County. Now, this was just before midnight along Route 168 in Hookstown. It's unclear why police started pursuing that vehicle. There are reports the suspect shot at troopers during the chase. No one was hit. Troopers are still on the scene just across the border in Hancock County, West Virginia. We're told they're looking for a second person. KDKA has a crew at that scene. We will bring you more details as they come into our newsroom. And even more breaking news in Ambridge. One person is recovering after a stabbing. Police were called to a home along Glenwood Drive just after 4.30 this morning. The condition of that victim is not known at this hour.
This morning, a death investigation is underway in Fayette County. A husband and wife were found dead following what state police believe was a murder-suicide. Troopers were called to a home along Republic Street in North Union Township. Both had gunshot wounds. Police are not saying who fired the gun. Other news this morning, traffic is flowing again in the Armstrong Tunnel after a deadly accident there. A police identified that victim as Barbara Ann McMillan. She was killed when she lost control of her SUV on the inbound side of the tunnel. That SUV hit a utility box and ran into the side wall of the tunnel. McMillan was the only person in the car. The cause of that crash remains under investigation. This morning, a man is waking up behind bars in connection to a stabbing on Pittsburgh's north side. Pittsburgh police say Dalbert Banks is facing charges for the alleged aggravated assault. They say he stabbed a man in the ribs at an apartment along Boyle Street. That victim, at last check, is in a local hospital in critical condition. Now to Penn Hills, where a woman is dead after succumbing to her injuries following a shooting that happened last month. Police say Ladia Terrell was shot multiple times along Eastgate Drive and was taken to the hospital. A man was detained for questioning, but so far no charges have been filed. Right now, the search is intensifying for a missing Hazelwood woman. Take a look at your screen. Pittsburgh police need your help to find Tony Turner. They say she was last heard from Monday evening. Police say that she may be in Homestead. If you've seen her, you should contact police. New this morning, violence at the U.S. Embassy in Iraq has subsided following two days of protests, but the tensions there remain high. These new images coming in overnight of U.S. soldiers armed with heavy artillery standing guard to protect the U.S. Embassy. As our men and women keep the peace, Laura Podesta has a look from inside the embassy showing the extensive damage. As protesters withdraw from the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad, more American troops are on their way to the Middle East. The Department of Defense released new video showing hundreds of paratroopers from the 82nd Airborne Division preparing for deployment. For two days, Iranian-backed protesters set fires through rocks and painted anti-American graffiti at the embassy. They destroyed a reception building at the compound's perimeter. U.S. security forces fired tear gas and rubber bullets to keep them at bay. They dispersed only after militia leaders said their message that American troops are unwelcome in Iraq had been heard. We soaked America's nose in dirt, this man said. The conflict began after an American contractor was killed on an Iraqi base last week. The U.S. blamed the Iranian-backed Shia militias and targeted several of their bases with airstrikes in Iraq and Syria, killing more than two dozen fighters. I want to have peace. I like peace. And Iran should want peace more than anybody. Tensions with Tehran have been rising since President Trump took the U.S. out of the Iranian nuclear deal. This is less an act of desperation by Iran in response to the maximum pressure campaign. Uh, but them showing that they can scratch back. Iran has denied any involvement in the embassy attack. Laura Podesta, CBS News. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo canceled the trip to Europe and Asia to stay in Washington and monitor the situation. He was set to meet with the Ukrainian president, Vladimir Zelensky. Still to come this morning, a long-term construction closure gets underway this morning, forcing you to find an alternative route in the Strip District. Also, one man goes on a very dangerous drive. The video that every young driver needs to see this morning on what you should not do. This promo contains parental circumstances. It may be appropriate and suitable for moms. Show me what you got. Honey, don't make mommy kill you. It's on like a mother. You are messing with the wrong bra. Today at 5 on Pittsburgh CW. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. What if you could lose fat in just a few hours? <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm just in shock. You can with Sonobella.
It seems no matter how much you work out or diet, there are parts of your body that just don't seem to change. I went to the gym, I worked out at home, I bought videos. No matter what I did, that bulge was still there. With its advanced micro laser technology, Sonobello gently removes that targeted fat and shapes your body for life-changing results. With over 100 board-certified plastic surgeons, Sonobello is the largest and most experienced group practice in the U.S. Sin ain't believing. I don't know what is. <laughs> After five years trying to get rid of that roll of fat, Sonobello did it in one day. Call for your free no-obligation consultation today and get $250 off your Sonobello body. Payment plans are available. Call 888-391-8315 or go to Sonobello.com. Every once in a while, something comes along so masterful, it leaves you in awe. So inspiring, it changes your life. So beautiful, you wish it would never end. When that happens, it's something not to be missed. Shen Yun, coming to Benedum Center, January 24th and 25th. Tickets at ShenYun.com or call 844-888-7469. Good Thursday morning. If you're heading back out to work, we have a lot of sunshine. You'll need the sunglasses, but temperatures today are going to get a lot warmer. It's going to be a different story tomorrow morning as you're waking up. We're going to be dealing with some rain. That rain arrives later on tonight around 9 o'clock. It's going to continue on and off throughout Saturday. Temperatures will be above normal until then, and then rain switches to snow for our Saturday. Temperatures will be above normal all the way through Saturday, even through the morning, and then we're back near normal. I'll let you know how much rain is on the way coming up. Mary, thank you. We'll take a look at this new video that's coming in from Denver. Just look at this. Some high winds forced an Amazon delivery truck off the road, nearly causing it to flip. Now you can see the back of that trailer was swaying as the gust of winds pushed it from side to side. Then that one strong gust forces that trailer out of the lane. You see it there. That vehicle came to rest in the median. Thank no one was hurt. Just some incredible video there. Ahead this Thursday morning, a fierce firefight is underway in Australia as wildfires take a deadly turn, prompting families to get on top of that breaking news in Moon Township this morning where a massive landslide has shut down part of Route 51. We'll have an update ahead.